Hey YouTube, so I want to do a boot camp because frequently me and the other Tech Talk creators get asked one major question. How do you get into tech? How do you start? And the main answer that we have leads to more questions because usually we tell people to make a home lab. Most people don't know what a home lab is or how to make one. So I'm gonna show you guys how. Behind me right here is pretty much everything you need to make a home lab. And over the next couple of months, I'm gonna do a boot camp where I do tutorials over on YouTube, do a few clips on TikTok, and also work in Discord to answer any questions that people have about these home labs and how they work and how to set one up. So what we're gonna focus on is setting up three things. One, we're gonna set up a PFSense server, which is going to act as your network server. It's going to handle your main networking, your DNS systems, your DHCP, things like that. Then we're also going to build out a TrueNAS system. The TrueNAS system is going to be your storage system. It's where you can store your files and things like that and have a way to tinker around with NAS systems because that is one of the major things you're going to run into in the field. Then the final system that we're going to build out is a Proxmox system. That is a virtual environment where you can build virtual systems, tinker with them, test with them, and see how a server cluster actually functions together. So we wanna make sure you guys have everything you need. So I'm posting this video first before I start building these because I want you guys to be able to get the supplies you need and get ready to actually make these. Let's quickly go over some of the stuff that you guys are gonna to need to actually set up this home lab. Behind me, I have set up most of it so I can give you guys examples of what you're going to be looking for. Everything behind me, except for a couple of things, I actually got from thrift stores. And I have verified that it all works, and I will also tell you guys how to verify it after I show you what each thing is. To start off, you're going to need network cable. Specifically, if you wanna go with the bare minimum, you're going to need five network cables. I recommend five feet just so you know you can move them around and not have any issues. If you wanna go shorter, everything can fit onto a shelf so you can get one foot cables, but then you're going to have to really make sure everything can connect easily to each other. Next up is going to be a network switch. You're going to need one of these so everything can communicate with each other and actually hook up. We are not using wireless. This is not purple tech. We need to use wired. You can use anything really that you can find for a simple switch. It just needs to be a decent switch that has at least four ports on it to handle everything, including going out to the rest of your network. In all honesty, most of you will probably want to have gig connections for everything, but because we're trying to do this on a budget so anyone can do it, we went for something that was a little bit more low end. All of the requirements for this are only 100 meg. Granted, this switch that I'm gonna be using is going to be gig because I don't have a 100 meg switch line around anymore. On the desktop end, you're not really gonna need that advanced of hardware. You're just gonna to need to have three desktops all with at least dual cores. If you can find one that is a quad core, that will work as well. You can find higher end hardware and we'll go over which one you should use as which, but they just need to have at least a dual core processor. And then each of them need to have either four or eight gigs of RAM. Two of them definitely need to have eight gigs of RAM. The PFSense server can operate off of a lot less, so we recommend four gigs because it's easy to get a hold of. Hard drives is where the fun part comes in. So you're going to need three hard drives that are at least 250 gig because those are going to be your boot drives for each of these systems. Eventually down the line, if you upgrade these, we recommend upgrading to SSDs, but because actual normal hard drives are easy to get a hold of, we just went with 250 gig hard drives for the boot process. Then the other hard drives you're going to need are at least two 500 gig hard drives. They need to both be the same size because these are going to go into a RAID on your NAS box. And then you're going to need another hard drive. We recommend having a terabyte hard drive. That is going to be your storage pool that is going to go on your Proxmox server. The final thing on this checklist of things that you're going to need is going to be a network card for your PFSense server. This is a super basic network card and it actually works with the computer we're actually planning. Let's see, this one for PFSense. 
PFSense is going to be the lowest of our three systems where it does not need as much resources. So we're fine with going with an older system. So we actually use old school PCI cards. This one is only 100 meg. We have used uh, gig cards in my personal PFSense server, but for this one, we're just gonna use 100 meg so anyone can do it, like we said. The only other piece of hardware that you're going to need that we hope you guys have lying around is a jump drive and a desktop that you can install ISOs onto the jump drive from, because without those, you won't be able to actually install anything onto these. That covers the hardware that you're going to need for a home lab. This is a super basic starter home lab that you can use to actually get started in the tech career and to start learning on. We're gonna walk through everything with you and we hope that you guys are able to build along with us so you can ask us questions and can get the help as we're doing it. We haven't figured out the exact release schedule for these videos, but we will be announcing that soon and we will definitely be putting it in the description below once we have it and also be putting it in the video where we show you guys how to test these to make sure they're ready to have stuff installed on them. As we release these videos, we will be there with you in the comments answering any of your questions, and we will also be in the Discord doing a boot camp on there so that we can walk through the tutorial with you guys if you need the extra help, or if you just want to follow along with someone instead of just a video. We hope this year that we're able to release more videos showing you guys some of the cool stuff you can do in tech and how you can actually accomplish it pretty cheaply. And we want to make sure you guys have a home lab to start with so that we can actually use it as something we can reference in our videos. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below because I will be down there answering all of your guys' questions as fast as I humanly can. But aside from that, we'll also be over on the Discord where you can ask us questions over there and usually get help from the community. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video because we are trying to get more videos out on YouTube, but we don't know what content people want to see. We're starting with this tutorial series so that we actually have something that we know people want to see and we hope you guys enjoy. If you have any suggestions or any recommendations on what you guys want us to show off, please comment them below and we will start making videos on what people actually want to see.